Robert William Flay, is an American celebrity chef, restaurateur, and reality television personality. He is the owner and executive chef of several restaurants, Mesa Grill in Las Vegas, Bar American in New York and at Mohegan Sun, Bobby Flay Steak in Atlantic City, Gatto in New York, and Bobby's Burger Palace in 19 locations across 11 states. Flay has hosted several Food Network television programs, appeared as a guest and hosted a number of specials on the network. Flay is also featured on the Great Chefs television series. Chapter 1 Early Life Flay was born on December 10, 1964, in New York City to Bill and Dorothy Barbara Flay. He was raised on the Upper East Side neighborhood of Manhattan. He is a fourth generation Irish American and was raised Catholic, attending denominational schools. At age eight, Flay asked for an easy bake oven for Christmas. His father thought that a G.I. Joe would be more gender appropriate. Despite his father's objections, he received them both. Chapter 2 Career Flay dropped out of high school at age 17. He has set his first jobs in the restaurant industry were at a pizza parlor and Baskin Robbins. He then took a position making salads at Joe Allen Restaurant in Manhattan's Theater District, where his father was a partner. The proprietor, Joe Allen, was impressed by Flay's natural ability and agreed to pay his partner's son's tuition at the French Culinary Institute. Flay received a degree in culinary arts and was a member of the first graduating class of the French Culinary Institute in 1984. After culinary school, he started working as a sous chef, quickly learning the culinary arts. At the Brighton Grill on 3rd Avenue, Flay was handed the executive chef's position after a week when the executive chef was fired. Flay quit when he realized he was not ready to run a kitchen. He took a position as a chef working for restaurateur Jonathan Waxman at Bud and Jams. Waxman introduced Flay to Southwestern and Cajun cuisine, which came to define his culinary career. After working for a short time on the floor at the American Stock Exchange, Flay returned to the kitchen as the executive chef at Miracle Grill in the East Village, where he worked from 1988 to 1990. He caught the attention of restaurateur Jerome Kretschmer, who was looking for a southwestern-style chef. Impressed by Flay's food, Kretschmer offered him the position of executive chef at Mesa Grill, which opened on January 15, 1991. Shortly after, he became a partner. In November 1993, Flay partnered with Lawrence Kretschmer to open Bolo Bar and Restaurant in the Flatiron District, just a few blocks away from Mesa Grill. Flay opened a second Mesa Grill at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas in 2004, and in 2005 he opened Bar American, an American brasserie, in Midtown Manhattan. He continued to expand his restaurants by opening Bobby Flay Steak in the Borgotta Hotel Casino, and Spa in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This was followed by a third Mesa Grill in the Bahamas, located in the cove at Atlantis Paradise Island, which opened on March 28, 2007. The Las Vegas Mesa Grill earned Flay his only Michelin star in 2008, which was taken away in the 2009 edition. Michelin did not publish a 2010 or 2011 Las Vegas edition, so the star could not be re-earned. Bolo Bar and Restaurant closed its doors on December 31, 2007, to make way for a condominium. Aside from his restaurants and television shows, Flay has been a master instructor and visiting chef at the French Culinary Institute. Although he is not currently teaching classes, he occasionally visits when his schedule permits. Flay established the Bobby Flay Scholarship in 2003. This full scholarship to the French Culinary Institute is awarded annually to a student in the Long Island City Culinary Arts Program. Flay personally helps select the award each year. Flay opened Bobby's Burger Palace in Lake Grove, Long Island on July 15, 2008. The restaurant is located at the Smith Haven Mall. A second location opened on December 5, 2008 at the Monmouth Mall in Eatontown, New Jersey, and a third location opened March 31, 2009 in the outlets at Bergen Town Center in Paramus, New Jersey. 
His fourth shop opened at the Mohegan Sun Casino in southeast Connecticut on July 1, 2009, which is also the location of his second bar Americane, which opened on November 18, 2009. His fifth location of the burger chain opened in Philadelphia's University City on April 6, 2010. The sixth location of Bobby's Burger Palace opened in Washington, D.C., at 2121 K Street in Northwest on August 16, 2011. On December 5, 2011, Flay opened the ninth location of Bobby's Burger Palace in Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City, New York. Flay opened the 10th and largest Bobby's Burger Palace site at Maryland Live Casino in Hanover, Maryland, on June 7, 2012. Bobby's Burger Palace also has an 11th location, in College Park, Maryland. In total, BDP has 19 locations in 11 states and the District of Columbia. The original Mesa Grill in New York closed in September 2013 following a proposed rent increase by the landlord. As of September 2019, Flay has an estimated net worth of $30 million. Chapter 3 Television, Film, and Radio Chapter 3 Section 1 Great Chefs Flay has been featured in several episodes of Great Chefs television, including Great Chefs. Great Cities. Mexican Madness DVD. Great Chefs Cook American. Chapter 3 Section 2, Food Network. Flay has hosted 16 cooking shows and specials on Food Network and Cooking Channel. Flay served as a judge on Wickedly Perfect, The Next Food Network Star, and The Next Iron Chef. He has cooked on Emerald Live and Paula's Party. Chapter 3 Section 2 Subsection 2 Throwdown With Bobby Flay On Throwdown With Bobby Flay, the chef challenges cooks renowned for a specific dish or type of cooking to a cook-off of their signature dish. On Episode 5 of Season 4, Harlan Chef Melba Wilson and Bobby squared off over who had the best chicken and eggnog waffles. While being interviewed on Conversations with Alan Wolper on WGBO 88.3 FM, Wilson confessed that she had been nervous because Bobby brought a cast iron skillet. Having grown up in a family that used cast iron skillets, Wilson was nonetheless forced to use a deep fryer because her restaurant was too small for a cast iron skillet. Towards the end of the anecdote, she explained, Can I tell you? When he pulled out the skillet, it was a rough day. Girlfriend started sweating bullets. But at the end of the day, we threw down, I don't know, I think it was the eggnog, and I won. Chapter 3 Section 2 Subsection 3 Iron Chef Flay was an Iron Chef on the show Iron Chef America. In 2000, when the original Iron Chef show traveled to New York for a special battle, he challenged Iron Chef Masaharu Morimoto to battle Rock Crab. After the hour battle ended, Flay stood on top of his cutting board and raised his arms in what one journalist wrote was in premature victory. As Morimoto felt that real chefs consider cutting boards and knives as sacred, and being offended by Flay's flamboyant gesture, he criticized his professionalism, saying that Flay was not a chef. Flay went on to lose the battle. Flay challenged Morimoto to a rematch in Morimoto's native Japan. This time, Flay won. Flay and Morimoto, both Iron Chefs on Iron Chef America teamed, took on and won, against fellow Iron Chefs Mario Batoli and Hiroyuki Saki in the Iron Chef America, Battle of the Masters Tag Team Battle. On a special episode of Iron Chef America originally airing on November 12, 2006, Flay and Giada de Laurentiis faced off against, and were defeated by, Batoli and Rachel Ray. This was the highest rated show ever broadcast on Food Network. Flay and Michael Simon defeated the team of Iron Chefs Kat Cora and Masaharu Morimoto in a special episode titled Thanksgiving Showdown, which originally aired on November 16, 2008. On November 29, 2009, Iron Chefs Morimoto and Flay faced off one on one again in Battle Eggnog. The battle, which featured ice carvers, was won by Morimoto by a single point. In an episode recorded in July 2010 and broadcast in March 2011, 
Montreal cooking show host, Chuck Hughes beat Flay to become the youngest Canadian champ. In an interview afterward, Hughes recalled, when I met him I said, hi Bobby, and my voice cracked a bit and I gave him an official Canadian's jersey, to which he replied, thank you so much, but it's not going to help. Chapter 3 Section 2 Subsection 4 Beat Bobby Flay This half-hour series pits select chefs against host Flay to see if they can create dishes that are better than his. As Flay's most successful series on Food Network the prior season, episode 5 of season 17, featuring Debbie Gibson and Katie Lee, was chosen as the 2018 lead-out show for season 14 of Food Network Star. Chapter 3 Section 2 Subsection 5 Specials Bobby's Vegas Gamble, covers the opening of Mesa Grill Las Vegas. Restaurant revamp, Flay tries to help a family restaurant. Chefography, Bobby Flay, biography of Flay's life and career. Tasting Ireland, Flay takes a food tour of Ireland, his ancestral homeland. Food Network Awards, the Food Network recognizes people and places that have impacted the food world. All-Star Grill Fest, South Beach, Flay joins Paula Dean, Giada De Laurentiis, Alton Brown, and Tyler Florence for a barbecue. Chapter 3 Section 3, Other Cooking Shows In 1996, Flay hosted the main ingredient with Bobby Flay on Lifetime Television. Twice a month, he hosts a cooking segment on CBS The Early Show. He hosted the reality television show America's Next Great Restaurant on NBC from March 2011 to May 2011 in which in the end he picks one restaurant team with whom to open a restaurant. The reality show was cancelled after the first season due to low ratings. Chapter 3 Section 4 Other Television and Film Appearances Flay had a cameo appearance in the Disney Channel original movie Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off as the host of the cook-off. He appeared on the television game show Pyramid with fellow Iron Chef Mario Batoli as the guest celebrities in an episode originally airing on November 18, 2003. He appeared as a judge on the CBS television show Wickedly Perfect during the 2004-05 season. He also appeared in the Law and Order, Special Victims Unit episode design, which originally aired on September 22, 2005. He had a small role as himself in the 2006 film East Broadway, in which his wife, Stephanie March, had a larger role. Jeopardy! Featured a special throwdown with Bobby Flay category during the March 12, 2008, episode, in which each of the clues featured Flay. He participated in the 2008 Taco Bell All-Star Legends and Celebrity Softball game played at Yankee Stadium after the 2008 MLB All-Star game, Flay played for the National League. Flay is also mentioned in the movie Step Brothers in the Derek Comes for Dinner scene. In 2010, Flay was impersonated in the South Park cartoon episode Creme Fresh. In 2011, Flay had recurring appearances in the final season of Entourage as the boyfriend of Ari Gold's wife. In 2012, Flay appeared on Portlandia, in a director's cut of the episode Brunch Village. He showed director Jonathan Crystal how to make the perfect Marionberry pancakes. Flay guest stars as himself on season 2 of the TV series Younger, which initially aired in 2016. In 2018, he appeared as Fred Jones's uncle in the animated film Scooby-Doo. And the Goumet Ghost. Chapter 3 Section 5, Sirius XM Radio Flay hosted a weekly call-in show on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. He offered advice to men on everything from sports to current issues, although food was the focus. Chapter 4, Books Flay has authored several cookbooks, including Bobby Flay's Bold American Food, ISBN 978-04465-1724-9 Bobby Flay's From My Kitchen to Your Table, ISBN 978-0517-70729-6 Bobby Flay's Boy Meets Grill, 
ISBN 978-0-7868-6494. Bobby Flay Cooks American, ISBN 978-0-7868-6714-1. Bobby Flay's Boy Gets Grill, ISBN 978-0-7432-5042. Bobby Flay's Grilling for Life, ISBN 978-0-7432-7272-8. Bobby Flay's Mesa Grill Cookbook, ISBN 978-0-3073-5141-8. Bobby Flay's Grill It. Dash ISBN 978-0-3073-5142-5. Bobby Flay's Burgers, Fries and Shakes, ISBN 978-0-3074-6063-9. Bobby Flay's Bar American Cookbook, Celebrate America's Great Flavors, ISBN 978-0-307-46138-4. Bobby Flay's Throwdown, ISBN 978-0-3077-1916-4. Bobby Flay's Barbecue Addiction, ISBN 978-0-3074-6103-8. Bobby Flay Fit, 200 Recipes for a Healthy Lifestyle, ISBN 978-0-3853-4593-4. Bobby at Home, Fearless Flavors from My Kitchen, ISBN 978-0-3853-4591-0. Chapter 5, Horse Racing. Flay has a personal interest in thoroughbred horse racing. He is the owner of more than one graded stakes race winner, including More Than Real, who won the prestigious 2010 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Turf and part owner of Creator, who won the third jewel of the Triple Crown, the Belmont Stakes. He serves on the Breeders' Cup Board of Directors. He was a candidate for chairman in 2014, but was not elected. Chapter 6 personal life. Flay married Deborah Ponzik, also a chef, on May 11, 1991. Flay and Ponzik divorced in 1993, and Flay married his second wife, Kate Connolly, in 1995. They have a daughter named Sophie. Flay and Connolly separated in 1998, and later divorced. Flay married actress Stephanie March, on February 20, 2005. According to media reports, March and Flay separated in March 2015 and their divorce was finalized on July 17, 2015. Flay dated Helene York from February 2016 to early 2019. Chapter 7, Awards and Accolades New York Magazine Gail Green's Restaurant of the Year, Mesa Grill French Culinary Institute Outstanding Graduate Award International Association of Culinary Professionals Award for Design, Bobby Flay's Bold American Food Four-time Daytime Emmy Award winner Outstanding Service Show Host, Boy Meets Grill Best Culinary Program, Grill It? With Bobby Flay Outstanding Culinary Host, Bobby Flay's Barbecue Addiction Outstanding Culinary Host, Bobby Flay's Barbecue Addiction Three-time James Beard Foundation Award Winner Rising Star Chef of the Year National Television Food Show Award, Bobby Flay Chef Mentor Who's Who of Food and Beverage in America Culinary Hall of Fame Induction Star on Hollywood Walk of Fame